Hey, welcome, guys. Okay. Uh, let's before we proceed, please like this video. Hit the like button. Thank you. I have gamma B oil. Uh, doing some packs from such. You know. I worked on my pack today, so I feel some motor strain. Then I need to massage with uh, baby oil. I got some. Thank you for liking this video. Respect to you. Welcome online. It's a big privilege to have you again, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Got the oil for the text now. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Yeah, I'm good. Say hi, Mike. How are you, sir? It's been a while. So, Mr. Carlos. Um, yeah. Mr. Carlos, thank you. I'm trying to do some personal massage on my pecs. I did, I did push up at the gym today, so feel the muscles. So I want to get uh, the muscles. Yeah. Hey, say hi. How are you? Welcome online. Yeah, my connection says I'm stable. I hope you guys can see and hear me. Uh, Mr. Ford, say hi, thank you. Please like this video. Please support my like this video. Bring your comments. YouTube says we have to like the video. <laughs> Hey, Marco, how are you? Say hi, Mike. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I hope you subscribe to the page. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I hope you put your notification button on. I hope you always turn your notification buttons so you know when I'm online or when I post a video. Because like they said, they said they want me to come online unlimited, like always online. You want to see Mike, how you doing, what you eat, and how you live your life in Africa. Greetings to you guys. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Carlos David. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Bounce now. Bounce, 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 bounce. So, <laughs> respect to you, Marco. Yeah, I also did some abdominal exercise today at the gym. I also worked on my stomach. More oil. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 Rick. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for your comments. Please like this video. Please try to like the video. Make your comment. Thank you for your support. Yeah, Paul. Greetings to you, Mr. Paul. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Thank you, James. So James Booth. So, yes, yeah, nice. Thank you, James Booth. Respect to you. Staying cool, you know. Happy weekend to you guys. Today is Friday night. It's about 30 minutes to saturday morning right here it's 11 30 p.m so in, in 30 minutes time is going to be 12 midnight and that's uh, saturday morning so this friday night you from where you are talking from i don't know your time you can tell me your time you can tell me your weather here in ghana it was sunny earlier today it was a bit sunny not cloudy Yeah, I would have stand up, but I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a big shirt, you know. Yeah. Say good morning, sir. Mr. Edward Roberts. Thank you. Welcome online. So remarkable. Yeah. Pop joint. No, no, no. Uh, Tobago, Mr. Paul said in Tobago, the time, the time is 7.30 p.m. Okay, weather well, is fine. Thank you for your update. So I think you are about uh, four hours behind Ghana time. Ghana is 11.30 and you see the time is 7.30. Yeah, Marco, sunny night. <laughs> wow. He said that's uh, past 12 and uh, 12.30 a.m. Sunday night. Thank you, Marco, for your update. Mr. Rick. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Rick. Respect to you. Uh, Marco Ludo, see me too. Great one. Stand up so I can see you. <laughs> Mr. James. Thank you for that comment. May I miss Tito Franco, Tito Franco from Brazil. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's Christmas time, Christmas coming. <laughs> I, need to, I need to visit Nigeria. I need to see my family. Wow.
fi so yu o ma ke Can you crack your neck? Oh, Mr. Marco, I don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> Rick, respect to you, Rick. Where are you talking from? Rick said he needs a hug. And who are you talking from, Mr. Rick? Greetings from Ghana, Africa. Okay, I'm going to stand and try to pull some because. Oops. Wow. Thank you, James Boat. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure you like the videos. Make sure you turn on your notification on the page on my channel. So when I come on live, you get a notification on your phone or your device because I have a notification on my device when I come online. I show you. So this was uh, I had this notification. Yeah, say so my audience live. So you can turn on your notification on the channel so you get update when I'm on live. I'm coming on live. They said I should come on live uh, flawlessly, like more often than. We don't count. So I have to get some things done, you know. Yeah, that's uh, the peg strength. The peg strength, it's uh, everybody, the strength on the pegs. You show the upper pegs, the lower pegs, and the middle pegs, muscles. Slowly we might get it. Oh. <laughs> My <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, see, thank you for standing up. Thank you too for asking me to stand up. Yeah, but it's amazing. Thank you. OC Multimedia Book. You say, hello, Mike. I'm your fan of Facebook. Okay, respect to you. Thank you for showing up on YouTube. Yeah, I come on YouTube more often to show my bodybuilding progress, you know. Respect to you. Thank you for coming on. Mr. James said uh, thank you for standing up. <laughs> yeah, I have to stand up because I have to stand up. I hope you're having a great evening on your side. Thank you, thank you. Clifford, thank you very much. Yeah. We are growing, you know, for our motivation. So I'm going to do, uh, tomorrow I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do my shoulder exercise. I'm going to do some serious 
Good luck on Australia tomorrow. So if you are going to the gym tomorrow, I wish you success. If you are having the holiday, tomorrow is Saturday weekend. I also wish you success. Thank you for showing up, Mr. Edward Dolores. I hope that is going well. James Bot. James Boot. <laughs> I think I'm right, James Boot. That I can only say it in English. I can I can say it uh, in another language. Your name I see is James Boot. Rick said you look amazing. Your hard work is paying off. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rick. Respect to you. I appreciate that. Yeah, we are trying to stay inspired and motivated, you know. Sorry, but much love and respect from Africa. Thank you, guys. Congrats, yes, congrats to you too. Thank you. James Bot. Yeah, that's the name I can pronounce, James Bot. Am I right? Thank you for liking this video. Thank you very much. Mr. Paul. Yes, I see. Cool. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, Gomez. <laughs> Gomez so like, wow. He said, please dance for us like a Christmas present. <laughs> I like when you call my name. Yeah, James Boat. Respect to you. Thank you for staying alive. That's James Boat. Please, you have to tell us your country, Mr. James Boat. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Dance for you. Respect to you. I know you like dancing. You always make sure dancing. <laughs> ah, Mr. Paul and yeah, Mr. Paul say, Maxime, Christmas and happy new year. Your language. Oh, uh, Merry Christmas and happy new year. I always speak English. My language. Uh, it's not English language. So that English language is the most communicative language in the world and mostly uh, for business and for other uh, communication with persons. But my local language, it's not on my uh, tongue because I only studied English language in my school. And, you know, for business purpose, you have to you have to have an official language so you can communicate with whoever you want to, whichever time. Okay, thank you, Gomez. So you're cute, man. <laughs> it's the Clifford Vera. Vera, I said that your body is pure, natural, right? No steroid. 
Oh, Mr. Clifford, please, we don't use steroids. I don't use steroids, and I don't think I need steroids. And I will never look for steroids. I will never invest my money in any supplement company. I will invest my money in buying natural food and uh, clean, farm heady and fruit, vegetables, so I eat a lot of natural food and I get my vitamins as much as I want. Then I focus on training because you have to train right. Not just eat right, you have to train right. Uh, hola. <laughs> Oviedo, Korea. Oviedo, Korea. I say, hola, my African superman. You have been away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed live stream for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was under medication. I was under medication. Under medication in the sense that uh, I went to... A, Qualified clinic here in Ghana, so I fixed my. I met with the doctor who could run some operation on my uh, wrist. You know, I always have that uh, that swollen on one of my wrists. So we did the uh, operation on it, and he had to take it off. And now it's getting dried gradually, so it's getting dried. So I'm gonna be doing some hard exercise. <laughs> Once the hand is fully dry, then start my muscle up, man. You know what I mean? Whole Africa Superman. Yeah, you've been away. Thank you. You pronounced my name the best I ever had. <laughs> that's great, that's great, that's great. Thank you, Mr. Clifford. Vera. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Ali. Welcome online. Okay, now we have a message of Oviedo, Korea. He said, we missed your Superman. Please keep up and eyes on us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. You miss Mike. You want Mike to come on live. You can always make a comment on my videos. Yeah, you can make a comment on any of my video, my picture. You say, hey, Mike, can you come on live? We want to see you. So when I see any comment, because I see whichever comment you make on my page, I see it. I see every comment and I reply as much as I can, you know. So if you make a comment on my page, you say, hey, Mike, how are you doing? Hey, Mike, how is this? Can you answer this? I will always see your comment and I'm going to respond. Like now, uh, Mr. Clifford Vera, I said, uh, no, you do not need supplements. You do not need steroid, man. You are just perfect like this. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Clifford Vera. When I started training about six years ago, it was six to seven years ago when I started lifting weights. And I, I was uh, in a village. I was in the, in the village. So... I made some local weights with cement and rods, so I never even heard of supplements. I never heard of anything like steroid. I never heard of those chemicals. I only believe in hard work. So I was working and I was getting some uh, results, you know. When you get results, you believe in what you do. So I was getting results and I saw that, wow, the training is working. And I started learning more exercises. Like I always go online, I always go on Google, I always go on this uh, Mosomania page. I always check people training, how they train, and how they get the body in shape. So I never thought of supplements. And when I heard of supplements subsequently, but at that time, I was already jacked up. <laughs> I was already jacked up. I was already much stronger than myself. So I never want to use anything because I trained with my de determination and I got my results. So, And also the, the food. I try to eat as clean as everything natural I cook myself. I buy groceries myself. I don't buy public food because I don't know what they cook with. So I have to make sure and check what I eat because everything has to be natural, you know. You have to stay away from preserved food like those uh, canned food. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. Yes, thank you for that. Uh, 
I Y N U S R O. <laughs> With that name, I can't pronounce. But thank you. I'm gonna pin up your your yeah, that comments. Pin up. Uh, no, you do not send. <laughs> thank you. Clifford Vera. Okay, what's wrong with your wrist? Mr. Paul, not see what's wrong with my wrist, you know. If you look my previous videos, you could see where I have a, a bump on my wrist. So it was a conjunction of a vein fluid. So it was a conjunction of vein fluids and they have they were uh, uh, accumulated on that on that point. So not that it was harmful, it wasn't harmful, just it wasn't uh, photogenic, so I have to work on it. So I'm getting recovery at this point in time. And I'm looking up to Christmas. Christmas holiday is coming. We have no much love to all you guys. I think I have to visit my family in Nigeria for Christmas, see my mom, see my dad. Uh, and by God's grace, we made it. So glad we are up here. Okay, uh, from K. Okay, say, how much push ups can you do? <laughs> Please, I don't count. I don't count because when I start doing exercise or when I do what I do, I don't count it. Because if I count it, then I have a, I have a suggested end and I always have a program. End. So I just do it and I get jacked up, you know. Like when I'm doing push up, I just push till I'm jacked up till I can't push no more. That's what I do. When I'm doing bench press, I bench till I can't bench no more. So I'm not I'm not laying there calculating how many I push. I don't count. When I'm doing the bicep coil, I just coil to my to my muscle starts hurting. Until I can't go no more. You know, the struggle of can't go no more. It comes slow, slow and more painful. Yeah, you should have the pain when you're working on your muscle. The pain should be there. If there's no pain, then it's not working. So when you do it as much as you can, you get as much as busted result as you can. But if you count eight reps, two reps, and you go home, you have moderated your progress. But you train like <laughs> ambitious, you know what I mean? You train with uh, dedication. You don't count. But you have to make sure when you are doing both uh, risks, you have to make sure you meditate on which number you so you can balance with next risks. You are doing completed coiling, you can do your biceps. You have to know how much you pull here and how much you pull here, so you can always. Okay. Uh, magnificent legs. Thank you, Mr. Edward Robbins. Sasa, Sasa, say hello. Hello, Sasa, how are you doing? Thank you for your comments. I hope you guys have subscribed. I hope you like the video. Please click the like button. Very important for you for you to, uh, for you uh, YouTube progress. Now Sasha say hello. What's up, Sasha? James Bolt he said I will share this video with the world. Love you, man. <laughs> Thank you, James Bolt. Keep it real, you know. Respect to you. And uh, from Strongman Luca, he said, Hi. What's your weight? What's your height? Which exercise do you do with 65 kg? <laughs> Mister. Strong man, what's your weight? My weight is 105 kg. Okay, 105 kg, but I don't know how many in uh, pounds. So, if you have to convert, you convert from Google, you check 105 kg in whatever you want to know. But I'm 105 kg, that's my weight. So, now you ask me what's my height. My height is uh, 6.2 feet tall, I'm 6.2. Then, now you ask again if I can, what do I have to do with 65 kg? What else can I do with 65 kg? With 65 kg, I can, uh, I can do bench press, I can do squatty, I can do uh, back workouts, I can do deadlift, I can do Romanian deadlift, I can do a lot of uh, body training. I can also try to coil it. <laughs> to coil it, maybe one rep or two rep, but I'm not going to get that, uh, that magnificent accurate posture because when the weight is too heavy it keeps you swinging so you have to put a moderate weight when you're doing coiling just keep the weight keep pumping the muscles you know when you are doing your bicep coils let me tell you the trick most people they take they take a, a bigger dumbbell that they can control somebody is coming to the gym he wants to be the biggest the first day <laughs> so he comes with the gym he picks up a big dumbbell 
and they start calling. Start calling, trying to view the bicep, but swinging the whole body because the weight is too heavy and he can't control. And he have to, he have to, he have to lawyer. He has to, he has to follow the weight because the weight is too heavy. So he has to stretch it out. So that's not the way to build your muscles. Your muscles don't need that. That uh, so what you do is pick up a moderate weight, like two kg, three kg, four kg, five kg. How much you can control? Then you keep your straight movement. You have to be erect. You just bring it. You squeeze. You squeeze when you get to the upper point. You squeeze the muscles because you have to command the muscles. This is what I want you to be like. So you bring it down again. You release them. You squeeze them again. You say, this is what I want you to be like. This is what I want my arm to be like. But when I bring it down, it's not like that. It's straight. When you bring it up, you say, this is what I want to do. So that's why you have to squeeze at the top. You have to measure the progress. So calling into the bus, standing straight. So it's not all about lifting heavy, but all about how much you can control to create pressure on the biceps. And that brings growth. Mr. Rick, you inspire me. I need to I need water. Wow. I'm tasting man. Mr. Rick say so you inspire me to live a healthy life. Thank you, Mr. Rick. Thank you too for being part of my Odeon progress page. Thank you for your love and support. Okay, from Mr. Oviado Correa. Uh, say just look at the vice, just look at the size of those shoulders. It's 100% Africa testosterone. <laughs> wow. Yeah, African bozo, raw African natural bozo. So you can tell the world that my codeon is natural. So if they think it's not, if they think my codeon is, is not natural, they think it takes supplement, they think it takes steroid, they should bring the test machine so we can get to confirmation. So you can test and see, man, I've been working. I've been working my ass at the gym. I've been working. You don't know. I've been working morning, evening. I train hard. You train in the morning. You train in the evening. When you get home, you look at some pictures online. You say, "Wow, I've never gone anywhere." Look at people's people online. They look good. So you go to the gym again the next day. So the motivation is all about you being better and better. So you just keep going because you have to invest more as much as possible. It's not easy to get what you want but it takes sacrifice and dedication of course it does not need okay love to see you dance okay james but I'm, I'm coming to dance because i they already know they want me to dance for christmas <laughs> christmas dance sasha it's a flexible muscle thank you sasha you say hi how are you sasha where are you speaking from just look at those shoulders. 100% natural testosterone. Great one. You inspire me to live heady. Thank you from Rick. What's your thought on hanging knee raised for ABS? Is it effective? What's your thought on hanging knee raises? Hanging knee raises. Uh, if I can understand the workout you're talking about, it's very effective. If I can understand the workout you're talking about, you talk about the hanging knee raises. Is it the workout you, you grip the bar and you begin to raise your legs? Yeah, that's an effective abdominal exercise. It's good. Uh, from uh, Clifford Vera, I said, uh, yes, the food is always important a healthy diet like fufu and what is called that is very delicious i ate one time from a nigerian guy living here in my country makes you strong <laughs> yeah that's a great experience mr clifford fufu will keep you strong and you feel like you have eaten for the rest of the day because it's all about starch and doesn't digest as much as possible fufu is a strong food for strong men after the after strong hard work you eat for four you feel like wow you have gained your strength <laughs> hey Terence, what's up Terence? Terence, how are you i am italian plus flexing your 
Oh. <laughs> Sasha. Wow. <laughs> Sasha said, I said, Sasha, where are you speaking from? Sasha said, uh, I'm Italian plus flexing your beautiful body. <laughs> Why Sasha say she uh, is Italian and also flexing? How do you where you from, Sasha? Now flexing your beautiful body, respect to you. Okay, from Terence, thank you for your response. He said, I'm doing good. And yourself? Wow, I'm doing great. Thank you, Mr. Terence. I'm doing fine. I miss you guys on live stream. So I, I'm here to say much love and respect to you guys. How can I get apps without access to the gym? Okay, that's a good question. I would like you to run through my uh, natural workout section. That's a playlist on my page. Check my page. You are going to see some uh, abdominal exercise for homemade. Yeah, because I made some on my page. So when you scroll through my videos, you check my playlist. That section. So when you check that playlist, you could see some how to train your apps at home. But if openly that doesn't help you, you can make a comment on any of my video and say, hey, Mike, help me with the link for how to train your apps. Then I'm going to send you the link because I always see your comments. You have to make a new comment on my page or my videos. Then I'm going to respond to you privately <clears throat> if possible. Now you say, can I, uh, can you bounce back, <laughs> Terence? Hope I meet you one day, Rick. <laughs> I hope I meet everyone one day. I hope we all take a picture together, maybe at the beach. We say, hey, yeah, we say, my Cordian family. <laughs> we take a nice pictures, everybody standing tall, representing the whole country. We say, Mike is from Nigeria. Yes, I'm in Nigeria, but here I'm in Ghana. Yeah, I did some competition here in Ghana. So the competition is over. So it's possible for me to move back to Nigeria and uh, continue. So it shouldn't be like a surprise when you when you see Mac Odeon speaking. Hey, Mac, I'm in Nigeria. I'm currently back to my country in Nigeria. So I hope it happens soon because I finished my competition here in Ghana and it was a great privilege to stand on stage and face the audience and face the judges. Well, I'm proud of myself because I took a second position like we all know, I took second position. So I appreciate you all for staying, standing by and uh, following me and also supporting me and also promoting me. Yeah. Much regard, Mr. Carlos. Yes, Mr. John, thank you. Mr. Marcos, yeah, Dr. Marcos, thank you. Respect to everyone. Shout out to you. Yes, yeah, speaking from Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan, what's up? It's a vast dot K. What's up, Morgan? How you doing? Yeah, I got water in the refrigerator. I need to taste water. Happy weekend, man. It's Friday night in Ghana.
okay yeah thank you so Marcos <laughs> Carlos it's a great body my next live stream I'm going well a, a good shot something like a Shots to this so this one is Thank you, Mr. Clifford. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Clifford. Thank you, Mr. James Bott. He said, why don't you pose in some pretty underwear? Oh, Mr. James, thank you for that. <laughs> I have to sort out the underwear before I can pose on them. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wish you guys a prosperous day ahead of now. I have to get my regalias done and also fix my bed so I can lay lay down. So thank you for your time. Mr. Rick, he said, go, Mac, go, Mac, go, Mac. Respect, Mr. Rick. Respect, Mr. James Bolt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Carlos, respect, respect. Mr. Morgan, I see you. Thank you all. Terence, don't forget about Terence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I appreciate you guys. Okay, if you want to support me, you want to send support to Mike in Africa, you can ask me for my address. I'm going to give you. So whichever support you send in, it won't be appreciated. Okay. So I look forward to your comments on my videos. If you have any questions, if you have anything to talk about, just I have an email attached to my YouTube channel. If you check my YouTube page, you check about, you check about my page, you're going to see my email right there. And also, if you make a comment under my video, I'm going to see it, I'm going to respond to you as soon as possible. Right now it's 12.05, past, six, six minutes past 12. So right now we are in a Saturday morning in Ghana. Respect to you all. Love, peace. Yeah, yeah, Clifford. 